All right, 645 here on your Wednesday. It is popsicle weather. Uh, it definitely is. I yeah. mean, we've had hot weather. We've mm -hmm. had steamy weather. We're going to hang on to the steamy air, but I tell you what, there are changes coming mm -hmm. away. So good news there. And it's a beautiful morning. I just love this shot. Uh, our Barbasol uh, cam, I guess you call it, uh, from Keen Trace there in the sun popping up. A beautiful scene, and unfortunately, we've got a pretty good chance for some showers and thunderstorms on the rise over the next few days. So enjoy moments like this because, well, we've got change tracking our way. So let's check it out and talk about what I'm tracking specifically. Number one, a reduction in heat, which is always welcome when it's been as hot as it's been. Uh, but also a rise in shower and storm chances. And of course, the muggy air, we can't really do a lot about that until we get some kind of shift, some kind of a different air mass in here, a front of some type. That'll happen Friday. We'll get a cool front dropping in, so that may help cut the humidity a little bit, but it's essentially going to stay fairly muggy. But with lower highs, extra cloud cover showers and storms around, you will definitely notice a difference. In a countdown to summer, almost over. Of course, it's been meteorological summer since the beginning of June. June 21st is the summer solstice, the official start of summer by the calendar. And uh, boy, it's been feeling that way lately, hasn't it? We're in the 70s. Our Bluegrass Airport current temperature is 74 degrees with a dew point in the upper 60s, so the air is still pretty muggy. At least we're not in the 70s. And we have some showers around this morning. It's warm. It's unsettled. We've got a heat index only topping out around upper 80s to low 90s today and not even really much of a factor tomorrow. A lot of that due to extensive cloud cover and showers and storms on the move. So this is huge. We were popping near triple digits and up to triple digits uh, heat indices earlier this week. That's going away, but it's being replaced by active weather. So we've got this marginal risk for severe storms today. That carries over into tomorrow and into Friday as well. Uh, the boundaries shift, but every part of us uh, at some point is under a marginal risk over the next few days. And here are those showers I was talking about cruising across 75 south of Lexington, heading in towards Boonville. Light to a time, some moderate rain there. So some of our southern counties getting a pretty good soaking this morning. This will diminish by mid morning. Nothing really north of 64. And by later on today, we'll have more development. Nothing like down south. They've had a half a foot to over a foot of rain in spots. Radar estimated rainfall over the past couple of days, and it is still coming down. So flooding, heavy rain, a huge issue down along the Gulf Coast of Texas. That's all the way from East Texas and even southwestern Louisiana, just uh, south of Texarkana there and toward, down toward the Gulf Coast. Uh, and here you go. The future track shows for today. Scattered showers and storms developing later on this afternoon. Tomorrow, as low pressure rolls up into Indiana and Ohio, and we have a cold front following it up, we'll have numerous more widespread shower storms, maybe some stronger storms, definitely a heavy rain potential there, and it's going to be on and off all the way through Friday. We could pick up between today and Friday night an inch to maybe over two inches of rain with some higher amounts, uh, especially up into Indiana, so look out for that. Partly sunny muggy, a few showers this morning, and then scattered showers and storms later on this afternoon. Uh, the heat's still there, it's just not quite as bad. 87 for the high today, mid to probably upper 80s. 60s tonight, the eight-day storm tracker forecast shows that for the first day of summer, we've got active weather for sure. So two stormy days, three if you count today, although it'll be more of an issue, I think, Thursday and Friday. Storm chance dips Saturday, cranks back up Sunday, and just maybe another pop close to 90 clears. We get around Tuesday next week, so more heat could be brewing out there toward the end of the eight-day.